iterative statements in python topics covered iterative statements for loop while loop infinite loop loop else introduction in the previous lesson you reviewed the basic concept of python its functions operators and conditional statements in this chapter you will learn about the iterative statements in a program there is a situations when you have to repeat one or more statements many times this repetition can be carried out using loops in programming let us understand the concept of a loop with the help of a real life example suppose your instructor instructs you to run and take 5 rounds of the playground to warm up before you start running you fix a starting point on reaching the starting point again you complete one round then you take the second round and so on this way you keep track of the numbers of rounds until the process of taking rounds gets completed now let us understand the concept of looping with the help of the above example let us say that the control variable is c in this example you have taken the initial value of c as 0 when you complete the first round the value of c becomes 1 after the second round its value becomes c equals c plus 1 i dot e dot comma 1 plus 1 equals 2 and so on this value will get incremented each time the process repeats after incrementing the control variable c will be checked against the maximum number of the repetitions which is 5 in this case let us understand this example with the help of a flow chart this process will continue until the value of c becomes 5 dot it means the loop will continue for 5 times and then it will terminate dot the advantage of using the looping technique in programming is that it reduces the number of instructions and also the memory space iterative statements the statements that keep repeating themselves as long as a given condition is true are called iterative statements or repetitive statements as soon as the condition becomes false the loop terminates These is also called looping statements or simple loops. An iterative statements is based on three values: a start value, initial value, for example, c equals zero; a test condition, for example, c equals five; a step value increment or decrement, for example, c equals c plus one. Every loop works with the help of a variable known as the control variable. the initial value is assigned to the control variable at the beginning of the loop then the final value of the control variable is specified and finally the step value of the control variable is defined i e it is either increment or decrement by the given value at each step to reach the final value in python there are two types of iterative statements for while for loop The for loop is used when you are sure about how many times a loop body will be executed. It is also known as a definite loop. In Python, the working of a loop is based on various operators and functions. The syntax for using the for loop is for variable in sequence, loop body statement to be executed, or before proceeding further, let us first understand the concept of membership operators membership operators membership operators play an important role in controlling the working of a loop there are two membership operators in and not in out of these the operator plays a significant role in the working of loops let us understand the in membership operator the in operators The in operator is used to check if a given value exists in the sequence or not. It evaluates to true. If it finds a value in the specific sequence else it returns false. Syntax. Value in sequence. For example, if you want to check whether number 10 is present in a given sequence of numbers, 
1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 10 execute the following code program 1 in the above example the program checks whether the number 10 exists in the given list or not if yes the in operator will return the value true otherwise it will return a false value similarly if you want to check whether a number entered by the user is present in the given list or not type the following code and observe the output program 2 using in membership operator with for loop consider the following example program 3 the following steps are involved the execution of the first statement step 1 the in operator will first check if there is a value in the list if yes then in operator will return the value true if the value returned by the in operator is true then the loop control variable i will be assigned a value from the sequence step 2 the print statement will print the value assigned to the variable i the range function the range function used for loop in python is helpful in generating a sequence of numbers in the form of a list for example range 10 will generate numbers from 0 to 9 10 numbers Syntax Range Initial value Final value Step value Here, initial value is an integer specifying at which position to start, while the final value specifies the end, and the step value specifies either increment or decrement at each step to reach the final value. While using the range function, the final value is always one less than the last value in the given sequence. The use of the range function can be understood by the following example. Program 4 In the above code, the initial value of the variable i is 10 and the final value is 19. 20 to 1 equals 19. Each time the loop executes, the value of i is incremented by 1. So, the final sequence will be 10, 11, 12, 1, 3, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Now, the variable i, which in this case is 10, will be checked within the range. As 10 is present in the given range, the output of the program will be true. Now, try some other range. The output of the program will change accordingly. Program 5. Step 1. The initial value if the i variable is assigned 10. Step 2. Using the range function, a sequence is created with all the value between 100 and 199. The in operator will check whether the value of the variable i exists in the sequence or not. If the value does not exist in the sequence, the in operator will return false. Using range function in for loop. You can use the range function in for loop to iterate through a sequence of numbers. Program 6. Step 1. The for loop executes. The initial value, 10 I assign to the variable. Step 2. The value of I, 10 is printed. Step 3. The counter variable is incremented. The next value, which is 20, is assigned to the variable I and the same is printed. Now. Let us see how the range function works in for loop. Program 7. Write a program to print the square of the numbers given in range. When you use the range function, it creates a sequence of all the values between the initial value and the final value minus 1. In this case, a sequence of values between 10 and 19, 20 to 1 equals 19 is created, and the squares of all the values from 10 to 19 are printed. Step 1. The for loop executes and the range function creates a sequence of values between 10 to 19. The initial value, 10 is assigned to the variable i. Step 2. The square of the value 10, i.e., 100 is printed. Step 3. By default, the counter variable is incremented by 1 and its square gets printed. Step 4. The step 3 continue till the last value in the sequence, i.e., 19 is assigned to the variable i and its square, is printed. Now, if you change the step value or increment the value in the range function by 3, see what happens. Program 8. 
when you increment the step by 3, you will get the sequence, 10, 13, 16, 19. Step 1, the for loop executes and the range function creates a sequence of values between 10 and 19. The initial value, i.e., 10 is assigned to the variable. Step 2, the value 10 is printed. Step 3, the counter variable is incremented by 3 and the next value is assigned to 13 is printed. Step 4, the step continues till the last value in the sequence, 19 is assigned to the variable i and gets printed. Program 9, write a program to find the factorial of a number. Factorial of 5. 5 multiply 4 multiply 3 multiply 2 multiply 1 equals 120. Step 1. The program asks a user to enter a number, let's say, 5. Step 2. Assign the value 1 to variable f. Step 3. Specify the range in the for loop, 1 to a plus 1 where the value entered by the user is stored in the variable a. Step 4. The factorial will be calculated as f equals fi. Step 5. By default, each time the loop executes, the value of the variable i is incremented by 1. Note, the variable f is assigned a new value each time the statement fi is executed. Step 6. Step 4 and 5 are repeated till the last value of the counter variable is encountered. Step 7. The final value of the factorial variable, f is printed. Program 10 colon write a program to print a Fibonacci series. A Fibonacci series is a series in which each number is the sum of the two preceding numbers, such as 0, 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8 etc. Step 1. The user is asked to enter a value for variable n. Step 2. The variable a is initialized to 0. Step 3. The variable b is initialized to 1. Step 4. Initial value of a is printed. Step 5. Initial value of b is printed. Step 6. Now, the for loop executes from 1 up to n plus 1. Step 7. The next value of the series is generated and printed by adding the previous two terms. C equals a plus b. Step 8 colon the value of b is assigned to a. Step 9, the value of c is assigned to b. Note, the value of a and b is updated every time when the loop is executed. Step 10, the loop will terminate when the last value in the range, n plus 1 is encountered. While loop. The while loop is the simplest of all looping structures. In general, this loop can be applied to. A program where the number of iterations is not known beforehand. The while loop keeps on executing the block of statement as long as the specified test condition evaluates to true. While loop has four main components. Initialization. It is used to assign an initial value to the loop control variable, a equals 10. Condition slash test expression. This statement checks whether the loop body will be further executed or not. The loop keeps executing till the condition or the test expression is true. Loop body. It contains the set of statements that are required to iterate or repeat. Step value. This statement keep updating the loop control variables so that a final value is achieved and the loop terminates. Syntax. Initialization. While condition, loop body, optation. Let us understand the working of the while loop with the help of the following examples. Program 11, write a program to print the first 10 natural number. Step 1, initialize the variable i to 0. Step 2, check the condition whether i equals 10. Step 3, if i equals 10, print the value of i. Step 4, Increment the value of i by 1, i equals i plus 1. Step 5. This process will continue till the value of i is less than or equal to 10. The loop will terminate once the value of i becomes greater than 10. Program 12. Write a program to print the square of numbers between 10 and 20. Step 1. The variable is assigned an initial value, 10. 
Step 2. The condition I-20 is checked. Step 3. If the condition evaluates to true then the statement print is executed. Step 4. Each time the loop executes, the value of I is incremented by 1. Step 5. The control shifts back to the while loop. The while condition is checked again. If the condition is true, then step 3 and 4 are repeated, and if the condition is false, the while loop terminates. Program 13. Write a program to print the multiples of 3 and their sum in the range 10 to 30. Step 1. The variable i is assigned an initial value, 10. Step 2. The variable s is assigned an initial value, 0. It will store the sum of all the multiple of 3. Step 3. The condition i equals 30 is checked. Step 4. If the condition evaluates to true then the if statement checks whether the variable is a multiple of 3 or not. Step 5. If the condition is true then the counter variable is printed and is added to the previous value of s. Step 6. Each time the loop executes, the value of i is incremented by 1. Step 7. The control shifts back to the while loop. The while condition is checked again. If the condition is true, then steps 4, 5 and 6 are repeated, and if the condition is false then the while loop terminates. Program 14. Write a program to print the table of a number. Step 1. The user is asked to enter a number of his choice. Step 2. The initial value 1 is assigned to the variable i. Step 3. The while condition i equals 10 will be checked. Step 4. If the condition evaluates to true, the statements are the while condition are executed and the product of an and i is printed. Step 5. The value of i is incremented by 1. Step 6. The control shifts back to the while loop. The while condition is checked again. If the condition is true, then steps 4 and 5 are repeated and if the condition is false, the while loop terminates. Program 15. Write a program to display no output when the test condition is false. In the above example, as the initial value of i, 10 is greater than 1, the condition will return false, and, hence the loop body will not be executed even once. Hence, you do not get any output. Infinite loop. An infinite loop. Or endless loop is a sequence of instructions in a computer program, which loops, endlessly. It happens either due to the loop having no terminating condition or having a condition, that can never be met. Let's consider the following example. Program 16, to create a program displaying endless loop. In the given example, as per the condition, the loop will continue until the value of i is greater than, or equal to 1. In the updation part, you are incrementing the value of i by 1 at every step and hence, the loop variable i will always be greater than 1. This means that at no time will the loop variable be less than 1 and hence the loop body will execute infinitely. To come out of the infinite loop, you have to terminate the interactive mode or program execution by closing the interactive mode window. Loop. Else. If a loop or while loop can have an optional else block as well, the else part is executed if the loop terminates normally, i.e., if all the values in the sequence get used in a standard way without the loop being forcefully terminated. Both the loops, i.e., for and while loop can use the else part. However, it is not mandatory to have an else block with a loop block. It is just a secure way to check that the Loop has terminated normally. Program 17. Write a program to print the sum of all even and odd numbers within a range. Program 18. Write a program to print the series 4916. Now, let us see how the range function works in for loop. Program 7. Write a program to print the square of the numbers given in range. When you use the range function, it creates a sequence of all the values between the initial value and the final value minus 1. In this case, a sequence of values between 10 and 19 
20 to 1 equals 19 is created, and the squares of all the values from 10 to 19 are printed. Step 1. The for loop executes and the range function creates a sequence of values between 10 to 19. The initial value 10 is assigned to the variable i. Step 2. The square of the value 10, i.e., 100 is printed. Step 3. By default, the counter variable is incremented by 1 and its square gets printed. Step 4. The step 3 continue till the last value in the sequence, i.e., 19 is assigned to the variable i and its square, is printed. Now, if you change the step value or increment the value in the range function by 3, see what happens. Program 8. When you increment the step by 3, you will get the sequence, 10, 13, 16, 19. Step 1. The for loop executes and the range function creates a sequence of values between 10 and 19. The initial value, i.e., 10 is assigned to the variable. Step 2. The value 10 is printed. Step 3. The counter variable is incremented by 3 and the next value is assigned to 13 is printed. Step 4. The step continues till the last value in the sequence. 19 is assigned to the variable i and gets printed. Program 9. Write a program to find the factorial of a number. Factorial of 5. 5 multiply 4 multiply 3 multiply 2 multiply 1 equals 120. Step 1. The program asks a user to enter a number, let's say, 5. Step 2. Assign the value 1 to variable f. Step 3. Specify the range in the for loop, 1 to a plus 1 where the value entered by the user is stored in the variable a. Step 4. The factorial will be calculated as f equals fi. Step 5. By default, each time the loop executes, the value of the variable i is incremented by 1. Note, the variable f is assigned a new value each time the statement fi is executed. Step 6. Step 4 and 5 are repeated till the last value of the counter variable is encountered. Step 7. The final value of the factorial variable, f is printed. Program 10 colon write a program to print a Fibonacci series. A Fibonacci series is a series in which each number is the sum of the two preceding numbers, such as 0, 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8 etc. Step 1. The user is asked to enter a value for variable n. Step 2. The variable a is initialized to 0. Step 3. The variable b is initialized to 1. Step 4. Initial value of a is printed. Step 5. Initial value of b is printed. Step 6. Now, the for loop executes from 1 up to n plus 1. Step 7. The next value of the series is generated and printed by adding the previous two terms, c equals a plus b. Step 8 colon the value of b is assigned to a. Step 9. The value of c is assigned to b. Note, the value of a and b is updated every time when the loop is executed. Step 10. The loop will terminate when the last value in the range, n plus 1 is encountered. While loop. The while loop is the simplest of all looping structures. In general, this loop can be applied to a program where the number of iterations is not known beforehand. The while loop keeps on executing the block of statement as long as the specified test condition evaluates to true. While loop has four main components. Initialization. It is used to assign an initial value to the loop control variable, a equals 10. Condition slash test expression. This statement checks whether the loop body will be further executed or not. The loop keeps executing till the condition or the test expression is true. Loop body. It contains the set of statements that are required to iterate or repeat. Step value. This statement keep updating the loop control variables so that a final value is achieved and the loop terminates. Syntax. Initialization. While condition. Loop body. 
Updation. Let us understand the working of the while loop with the help of the following examples. Program 11. Write a program to print the first 10 natural number. Step 1. Initialize the variable i to 0. Step 2. Check the condition whether i equals 10. Step 3. If i equals 10, print the value of i. Step 4. Increment the value of i by 1. i equals i plus 1. Step 5. This process will continue till the value of i is less than or equal to 10. The loop will terminate once the value of i becomes greater than 10. Program 12. Write a program to print the square of numbers between 10 and 20. Step 1. The variable is assigned an initial value, 10. Step 2. The condition i20 is checked. Step 3. If the condition evaluates to true then the statement print is executed. Step 4. Each time the loop executes, the value of i is incremented by 1. Step 5. The control shifts back to the while loop. The while condition is checked again. If the condition is true, then step 3 and 4 are repeated, and if the condition is false, the while loop terminates. Program 13. Write a program to print the multiples of 3 and their sum in the range 10 to 30. Step 1. The variable i is assigned an initial value, 10. Step 2. The variable s is assigned an initial value, 0. It will store the sum of all the multiple of 3. Step 3. The condition i equals 30 is checked. Step 4. If the condition evaluates to true then the if statement checks whether the variable is a multiple of 3 or not. Step 5. If the condition is true then the counter variable is printed and is added to the previous value of s. Step 6. Each time the loop executes, the value of i is incremented by 1. Step 7. The control shifts back to the while loop. The while condition is checked again. If the condition is true, then steps 4, 5 and 6 are repeated, and if the condition is false then the while loop terminates. Program 14. Write a program to print the table of a number. Step 1. The user is asked to enter a number of his choice. Step 2. The initial value 1 is assigned to the variable i. Step 3. The while condition i equals 10 will be checked. Step 4. If the condition evaluates to true, the statements are the while condition are executed and the product of an and i is printed. Step 5. The value of i is incremented by 1. Step 6. The control shifts back to the while loop. The while condition is checked again. If the condition is true, then steps 4 and 5 are repeated and if the condition is false, the while loop terminates. Program 15. Write a program to display no output when the test condition is false. In the above example, as the initial value of i, 10 is greater than 1, the condition will return false, and Hence the loop body will not be executed even once. Hence, you do not get any output. Infinite loop. An infinite loop, or endless loop is a sequence of instructions in a computer program, which loops. Endlessly, it happens either due to the loop having no terminating condition or having a condition. That can never be met. Let's consider the following example. Program 16. To create a program displaying endless loop. In the given example, as per the condition, the loop will continue until the value of i is greater than or equal to 1. In the updation part, you are incrementing the value of i by 1 at every step and hence, the loop variable i will always be greater than 1. This means that at no time will the loop variable be less than 1 and hence the loop body will execute infinitely. To come out of the infinite loop, you have to terminate the interactive mode or program execution by closing the interactive mode window. Loop, else. If a loop or while loop can have an optional else block as well, the else part is executed if the loop terminates normally, i.e., if all the values in the sequence get used in a standard way without the loop being forcefully terminated.
both the loops, i.e., for and while loop can use the else part. However, it is not mandatory to have an else block with a loop block. It is just a secure way to check that the loop has terminated normally. Program 17. Write a program to print the sum of all even and odd numbers within a range. Program 18. Write a program to print the series 4916.